Hi all. Uh, in today's session, we'll be uh, learning how to prepare a data set for an image classification problem. So uh, let's assume uh, that you are given a problem to classify a given image as a cat or a dog. This is a widely used example to create the first image classifier using deep learning in most of the uh, websites as well. So let's assume that there was no data set given to you and you need to prepare your own data set of images for cats and dogs. So uh, the obvious choice would be just to go to Google and uh, search for the, uh, let's say, cats and download all the images and create your uh, class. So what if uh, this can be automated uh, in a way where we can just pass the parameter and download all the images to a specified location? This can be achieved using Beautiful Soup, uh, which is one of the libraries which was taught at the beginning of this course. So let us quickly jump into the code and see how the images can be downloaded using Beautiful Soup. So as always, the first step, I am importing the required libraries with Beautiful Soup being the primary one here. And in the next block of code, which is essentially the block of code where we are going to specify uh, via which browser, what is the search parameter I need to pass to the uh, Google URL to download the required images. So as seen here, I am specifying the parameters where the uh, source ID Chrome essentially specifies that the piece of code has to check or use Google Chrome browser to search the parameter IITM. So basically I'm passing the IITM parameter uh, via the Chrome browser for this URL, google.com slash search. And from the results which are incoming, I'm finding all the results which are ending with a, which are an image followed by the extension of JPEG. Essentially, out of the results which are uh, incoming with this search parameter in this URL from this browser, I am filtering out only the JPEG images. And these JPEG images, I am saving them in the location of my collab environment. So let's quickly see what happens when I run this piece of code. And this is my uh, folder. So as seen here, one of the images got downloaded for IIT Madras. So you can quickly see what it is. It's the image of a deer. Or let me change to a chess pawn and run this parameter, I mean run this block of code. And there are three images which got downloaded for chess, chess pawns. So in this way, instead of manually downloading image by image from the Google uh, URL, we can make use of beautiful soup and download our images. So in this way, let's assume that uh, for chess, for the same chess pieces, we had downloaded images for each of the uh, piece types. For example, the bishop folder contains all the bishop images. Uh, the king folder consists of all the king images. And uh, once we have this uh, images ready for our image classification problem, we need to specify the path for each of these images for the code to read the images. So essentially, if I want to pass this image as the input image, I need to know the path of this particular uh, path and append the name with the uh, name of this particular image. So it involves a lot of manual process. Um, there is uh, a shortcut where we can make use of the command prompt and get the list of the paths of all the files into an Excel sheet. Let's quickly, let me quickly show you how it can be done. So open your command prompt and go to the folder which has all the images. For example, uh, in my uh, location, uh, in my system, I have within the Bishop folder starting from my C drive at this location, I have the images. So I went to this particular location and over here, pass in this command, dir, it stands for directory, space slash s space slash b, and push the results of this particular uh, command into list.csv. So essentially what I'm doing is, all these image paths, I'm going to store them to a CSV file. As seen here, currently we don't have a CSV file here. The moment I run this code, a new CSV file is created. Let me quickly open it. So all the image paths are stored at one go. 
Now we can also create the target class very easily for this specified folder by just dragging and dropping the name of that particular coin. Fine. And uh, let's assume the user also wants to check the clarity of each of the images. So what he can do is he can double click and use the Windows Previewer one by one to see how the images are. There is also an Excel way of getting the preview of these images using macros, which I will be showcasing now as well. So this is the macro file, which will be shared as a part of this particular exercise. So as seen here, for the Rook uh, target class, where we got the paths of the files, the moment I'm selecting each file, the corresponding image gets displayed. So this is done by a simple macro running in the backend, and I'll be showing you how it can be done. So uh, go to the developer tag and go to design mode. And within the design mode, go to insert and select image ActiveX control, which is the fourth icon in the last row. And uh, specify the area where you would like to display the image. So essentially I'm specifying this is the area where my preview has to be coming up. And as you can see, the name of this dialog box, which got embedded is saved with the name image one. The existing one, which I had showcased for demo purpose, it saved the name haha. So let me quickly uh, go into view the code. And this essentially is the code, which is actually previewing us the different images which are there in our folders. So as seen here, for any of the uh, selection change, which is happening in the Excel sheet, we are picking the value of that particular row and the, we specified the third column value to be picked up. So essentially the third column in my uh, sheet has the path of the images. So if that value is not null and there is no file within the active sheet, the dialog box name haha, we are using the load picture function and passing the image path. So essentially, we're using the load picture to preview the image within the dialog box. Let me change the haha to the new image box we have created, which goes by the name image one. And let me save it. Let's see if the images are getting displayed in this new dialog box now. Let me exit the design mode here. And let's quickly jump to one of the paths. And there you go. So the images now are getting previewed one below the other by using a simple macro function. So in this way, the user can make use of beautiful soup and uh, pass the search parameters for the images which he is interested in. And also, as a part of the data cleaning exercise, he can have a look at each of the images, how sharp they are, and also create the target classes using a combination of command prompt and macros.